Hello our dear viewers and welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make Anki cards faster. Anki is a program which makes remembering things easy and it is very efficient than traditional study methods. Now when you get to Anki, this is how it uh, looks like on the deck. And if you want to use Anki, you simply go to anki.web and it brings you here. And that link is available in the description of this video. So now here I'm on Anki deck. So to create cards on any deck, you simply click on the deck. And to add a card, you simply click on add at the top here. And then you can choose the front of the card. And then you put the question there. And then let me just go to this site where I have already downloaded the question. What is Adobe Premiere? And this I'm using by. And in this YouTube channel, we have tutorials on AI and you're welcome to watch them. So I'll post the question there. What is Adobe Premiere Pro? And then I'll copy the answer and paste it there. And then I can click on add and then I can keep on adding more cards. Now, the first tip to make you use the Anki cards faster is using of tags. So you notice after I've created my card, down here there is tags. Now tags will help you in case you have so many cards that you need to study. For instance, I only added one card about Adobe Premiere. So if I have so many decks and so many cards about Adobe Premiere, maybe I can classify part of the cards as introduction. So I'll add the tag here as introduction. And what this will help in is that later on when I'm revising, I can search for cards that only have the tag introduction. So I'll type the word introduction there. So I can click on the word introduction there and then click on add the tag. So any tags that I'm going to create will be under introduction. Or let's say maybe I want to add the tag Adobe Premiere. Then you can click on add so that now later on when I'm revising, if I only need cards that have either the introduction or Adobe Premiere, I'll just click on search and then I'll be able to just see the cards that are in the tags. So if now I close that and now you notice now here we have our deck. What is Adobe Premiere? I can click on tab, then I get the answer. Then down here, as usual, I can look at the level. Maybe that was easy I Can click on that. And then you notice now I've completed the study. So if now I just want to see the cards that are specifically about a certain tag, I can just come here and type my tag. I had the tag for introduction. If I now type introduction here, you notice I only now have cards that have the tag for introduction. That is for the Adobe Premiere, the question that I added. The next thing that will help you create Anki cards first is an add-on called Frozen Fields add-on. To add the Frozen Fields add-on, you will come to your Anki at the top here, you click on Tools, and then you come to Add-ons, you click on Add-ons, then you click on Get Add-ons on the top right corner, and then you can now paste the code for the add-on that you need. So the add-on called Frozen Fields has this code 51664384. So that is the code that we'll use 51664304. Then you can click on OK. But in case you forget that code, you can always come here and click on Get Add Ons and then you click on Browse Add Ons. And that will bring you to this Anki website where you can see all these add-ons and then you can search for frozen fields add-on. Because there are so many, you'll come at the top here and type there frozen on the top right corner here, frozen fields, and then you click on search so that now you notice they have reduced and we have this frozen fields, the second one on the top left hand side. You click on that, you, you notice it has the rating of 207 and then all these other details here. So you'll click on frozen fields. So with frozen field, you'll be able to have Anki sticky fields. And a sticky field is one whose value is not deleted when you switch to a different note. 
So you'll do that and then you notice all the details here. Then this is the same code that I showed you that we typed initially. So you notice you can add that. And then once you have installed, you should restart your Anki program so that now the frozen field add-on will be activated. Now the next way to improve or to use Anki faster, if I'll close that, is simply to use keyboard shortcuts. The other keyboard shortcuts that can be useful while using Anki cards include, you can use enter to skip the current card. You can use shift plus enter to mark the card as easy. You can also press control plus enter to mark the card as hard. You can press alt plus enter to bury the card, that is to move it to the end of the review queue. When you are on the front of the card, you can click on the space bar to reveal the answer, which is basically on the back side of the car. Now, if you combine the space bar plus shift, uh, then what that does, it toggles the answer between masked and revealed. If you press control plus space bar, when on the back of the card, you repeat the audio of the card. Now, when it comes to browsing of cards, you can use these shortcuts. F helps you to find the card. Control plus F helps you to find again. N helps you to find a new card. D helps to delete a card and escape exits the browser. The space bar toggles the card selection. The X can help to cut the selected card and C can help to copy the selected card while V helps to paste the cards. If you press shift plus V, what that will do, it will paste cards after selected cards. And if you select control plus V, you paste cards as new notes. Do you want, that means if you have a note or a card, you can simply paste it as a new note if you press control plus V. You can also press control plus shift plus V to paste cards as new notes and link to the source. F1 will help open browse window for the current deck, especially when you have so many decks. And then F2 will help open deck options window for the current deck. And finally, F3 will open deck statistics window for the current deck. So for instance now, to just demonstrate one, you notice this is one part of the card. So if I press the space bar, it gives me the answer, which is D. Then you can mark that. If you want to mark this answer, either again, hard, good, or easy, you notice we have the shortcut here. If you forget them, you simply come down here and place the cursor. You notice if you want to do that again, you can press one, shortcut key one. So if I press one, you notice the answer has been hidden. If I press, if I press the tab, the answer is revealed. If I want to mark it as hard, you notice I can press the shortcut key as number two, and that and that is marked as hard. If I want to mark it as good, I can press shortcut key three. And if I want to mark it as easy, I can press four as our shortcut. If I want to create a new card, I simply press A so that I'm now able to add a new card and you notice it brings us here. So that is simply how you can make Anki cards faster. And the last option is simply improving on your typing speed. If you improve on your typing speed, you, you'll naturally be able to create Anki cards faster. There are different tutorials online on how you can improve your typing speed and that will help you to create your Anki cards faster. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.